Who exactly is Gruber? What was his role in crafting Obamacare? I don't know who he is. He didn't help write our bill. Most people think he's one of the best outside experts, Mr. Gruber of MIT. I don't know if you have seen Jonathan Gruber of MIT's analysis. And so... Jonathan Gruber is one of the most respected economists in the world. He attended five of the 12 meetings at the Obama White House in 2009, including the meeting with the president. I was a paid consultant to the Obama administration to help develop the technical details of the bill. Six million dollars in consulting fees on Obamacare. Who knew you could make so much money working for the government, huh? And so... The, the fact that some advisor... An advisor. An advisor. Who never worked on our staff. I've stolen ideas from liberally. John Gruber. Obama was a little more relaxed. I think he took a cigarette break halfway through. Uh, expressed an opinion that uh, I completely disagree with, with uh, in terms of the voters. And that passed. The American voters are too stupid to understand that. You know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. It's a very clever, you know, basic exploitation of the, of, the, of the lack of economic understanding of the American voter. There's no reflection on the actual process that was run. And the only way we could take it on was first by mislabeling it. And John Kerry said, no, 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 we're going to tax your health insurance. We're going to tax those evil insurance companies. Gruber, who has been our guide on a lot of this. But we all know it's really a tax on people who hold those insurance plans. I think it'll, it's fair to say that there was not a, a provision in the health care law that was not extensively debated. The, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. Mr. Gruber, MIT, he's got... Big computer models, he takes the CBO data, and frankly, in some respect, he's helped CBO by help giving some information to CBO that otherwise does not have. He had a law which said healthy people are going to pay in, it made explicit that healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Uh, and was fully transparent. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And over time, it's applied to more and more health insurance claims. And so, how can that make sense?